Welcome back everybody, it's OG here and today we are once again doing land speed record attempts. Land speed record attempts part 2. Catherine, Catherine, roll the tape. Thank you Catherine. Instant fail. That's something I got used to. I don't know why, I just had so many insta fails. Rockets which well, cars which as soon as I started to try to use them would fail. It's funny, but you do get kind of sick of it after a while. Occasionally they worked, but not as intended. It did get rather frustrating. I built this design based on the previous one I had with the two Clydesdale boosters on the sides. And I thought, well, the Clydesdales themselves are quite heavy. So I'll go with even larger engines on the side without so much fuel so that they're not heavy. Because with the Clydesdale you have to carry that empty booster around with you all the time. It just, it didn't work. The, the little side booster things kept breaking off the Clydesdale. And this single spar I had going out to the rear didn't have the stability to keep the tail upright. So the tail would wiggle and wave around instead of keeping the vehicle in line. So on the rare occasions it didn't self-destruct before I could start putting it down the runway. It would self-destruct on the runway. But hey, at least we had a learning opportunity. Isn't that right, Bob? Bob says it's totally not worth it. But it's okay, Bob's a trooper, we just kept sending him back in there. Truth be told, Bob did get a little sick of this after a while. We had a a rather nasty disagreement in the coffee room and he ended up storming out but um, Val stepped up so it was okay this was quite a nice little ending except for Bob more insta fails I think Bob's just a bad driver Bob, are you pushing the red button or something? And then I got sick of building cars, so I built a boat. Because what can go wrong with a boat? Well, so much for my break by the seaside. Boat sank. So, back to more car fails. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Bob, you can do it. You can do it. Well, last time Bob peeled off to the right, he ended up hitting a mountain. This time I got really brave and I decided to <laughs> adjust the engine gimbling on the fly. Not something I would suggest during a land speed record attempt. Don't tell Bob we did that. Yeah, in retrospect, hitting the water at Mach 2 is probably what really upset him. Which is probably why he destroyed the car there for the last time. And then I got tired of Bob, and I decided to build a new car afresh.
with the lengthy build montage complete, it was time to get back to work. Bob, we bought you a new car. Do us proud. Yes, the gimbling should be considerably lower. But the speeds are good. 1202. That's a new personal best for OG. But I wasn't happy yet. I was willing to put Bob's life on the line one more time. Now look at this. Note on the left how the altitude is 1. That means I'm still on the ground. And on the right it's at 2. That means it's in the air. So at 1140 I was on the ground. But at 1143 I had taken off. That becomes important when we look at the figures from the guy that tells lies. He said we did 516. Never ever trust this guy. Occasionally he's right, but very often he's wrong. And I've seen other people just use his figures, and you can't do that. Not in this game. When you're doing land speed records, you have to verify them frame by frame by eye. And we'll talk about how to do that. Let's see how we did that time. Well, we were doing 1218 at 1 meter on the ground. Now watch that 1 meter and then watch the lit up area highlighted by that red box. Especially the line at the top of the lit up area where it's brightest. Keep a close eye on that because that gives you a good indication of whether you're still on the ground or not. Now we're doing 1222, two, 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 still on the ground. Lit up area hasn't moved, still at 1 meter. And at 1226, two, two, that line has moved significantly, even though we are still on the ground. Watch again how this line moves 1218, 1222. Two, two, one two two six. You can immediately see that we are about to lift off at one two two six. Just just on the ground. One two two nine. We have lifted off. That line is gone. It's gone gone, and we're at nine meters of altitude. So that's how you can get a good idea. Watch that line. You can see it right now. It's there. It hasn't. As long as it's in that sort of position, you haven't taken off yet. We had one, two, one, two, one meter. The line looks like it did while we were on the runway. One, two, two, zero, still at one meter, still no visible movement of the light line. 1224, the line has moved and we've definitely taken off. 1, but look what this guy says. He says we did 1283. No, you are a liar. We did not do 1283. Unfortunately, I was unable to improve on my best of 1226. But it didn't stop me trying. With Valentina at the controls, I carried on. Sorry Val, sorry, sorry, my bad. Val, it's not a submarine, you can't dive it. Especially not on land. Buildings, Val. Buildings. There are people there. Val, you're coming apart. Throttle down. Val. Val.
and despite what the lying guy told us, Val was not able to beat the record. Thank you for joining me for some more attempted record setting. This has been another land speed record attempt by OG with a new success of 1226 meters per second. OG out.